again! Hello everyone, this is Tom Nook. It is 9.51 a.m. this happy Sunday, March 29th, 2020. <gasps> you guys, listen carefully. Oh my gosh, that's so cute! You can hear construction going on inside of what is about to become our town hall! How freaking exciting is that? Also, hello everyone! I'm a little earlier today because guess what? I'm feeling better! Huzzah! I'm gonna take it easy because as my patrons know, uh, and as Chips is always tearing his hair out about, I tend to like go from zero to 100 when I am recovering from being sick and then get sick again. So we'll take it easy today, but we definitely have enough energy for our daily Animal Crossing adventures here on Wildberry Island. Especially with Mabel here, and because we need to see what our adorable new resident Sky is up to. And, oh yeah, let me let Tom Nook finish, because he's probably going to tell us all about how we're building a town hall! <laughs> As I mentioned yesterday, resident services is closed today due to construction. I realize this may be a, a bit of an inconvenience, but I promise that the island will be better for it. You'll see. As you can imagine, I'll have my paws full today with the resident services construction. I'll be getting back to that now. Have a good day, everyone. Oh, that's so cute! And I'm so excited that Mabel is here, you guys! Oh, wow, what should we work on today? Wildberry Island has been growing, like, so quickly. We haven't really had a chance to focus on making it very nature-centered yet, have we? And April is actually coming up very soon. Oh, yeah, and I caught something I need to show you guys! Ta-da! Behold our coelacanth! I actually caught a coelacanth the last night. I was very excited. It was raining. I was walking up and down, up and down the beach looking for those wharf roaches. I finally found the wharf cockroach and was able to give it to Pierce. I'll have to show you the amazing... No, no, no. No, no. We need a close-up for this. Because, guys, Pierce gave us the most amazing thing ever in response to the wharf cockroach. I cannot even begin to tell you how perfect it was. And it convinced me that our buddy Pierce really, really, really cares about us. It's inside. I will show you guys what we got in just a little bit here. But, yes, so we caught the coelacanth while I was looking for that wharf cockroach. I totally freaked out, super excited, because this guy can only be found on rainy days, but he can be found all day long during rainy days. And a little fact like that is uh, kind of what I want to start making our whole Wildberry experience about. I want to change the inside of our little Wildberry house so that we can start focusing on making this a very educational center. I can teach you guys when and where to find all of the different animals throughout the Animal Crossing world, and I can also tell you really cool facts about the animals in real life, like this coelacanth. Did you guys know that this guy is one of the oldest living species of fish in the entire world. Right here, he is basically a living fossil. The fact that he's around, very, very different structure from modern day fish, very different lifestyle from modern day fish, he is a holdover from quite a few million years ago. This is one of the few creatures who really hasn't changed much. Sharks also actually haven't changed much since several million years. Crocodiles as well. Those guys are kind of guys where you can get a glimpse of the same types of creatures that were adapted and successful at life back in the time of the dinosaurs, which I know so many of you really love. Uh, but alright, I need to actually put on my correct clothes. Uh, we need to visit with Mabel, and it's Sunday, so we should actually be having another visitor. Hey! How are you this morning? I'm so excited to see Ursula. We'll have to talk to her as soon as I make sure I have something I could give her. Alright, let me clean this up. Don't mind me, I was just, um, you know, I, I was just trying different things on. And I was spending some time visiting different islands last night. Let's go ahead and wear... Um... Actually, where's my cute little dress? I need a cute little dress. Let's talk to Mabel because I need a cute little dress. <gasps> there she is, though! There she is! You guys, you guys, you guys! You guys, it's Daisy May, the turnip seller! Oh, just in time because, look, our bell tree has come up to fruition. All right, look. I've got to put on my cute dress first. Then we have a coelacanth to take care of. We have fossils to search for. We've got a resident services building being built. Oh! <gasps> 
And here we go, guys. This right here. Hello, little hamster. I have so many names that people have suggested for you. Right now, I'm really feeling the twig name. That's a good one. I think we'll, we're going to name the hamster twig. Also, in honor of the gift, the amazing, amazing gift that Pierce gave us yesterday in repayment for finding him a wharf cockroach of all things. Here, I got to get, oh, can I get out of the way? Okay, I can't get out of the way. Unfortunately, I am now stuck. Um, let's see. All right. All right. This is how, how on earth. There we go. All right. Let's, let's move this tea cup or like this coffee cup and then we'll try this again. But if you guys remember yesterday, we had our very first request from one of the villagers and it was Pierce, our bird friend who asked us to find him a wharf cockroach. I finally found it after, you know, discovering a coelacanth of all things, collecting tons of seashells and selling them by the seashore. And there it was on the rocks. I caught it. I took it to Pierce thinking that he'd give me something silly or just say thank you. And instead, he gave me a moss ball. A moss ball. How beautiful is this? You guys don't understand. Moss... I don't know why, but because it's probably covered in soft, beautiful greenery, it's one of my favorite things in the world. And he gave me a moss ball. It's beautiful. It's glorious. Long live Pierce and his amazingness forever. <clears throat> so that happened yesterday. Twig is such a good name for this hamster. You guys had tons of other great names for our little classroom hamster. And trust me, I have a clever idea about how we're going to use those. I really do want to change the entire interior here. We're going to actually put normal wallpaper and walls down in this main room and we're going to turn the extra room we have into a greenhouse using this wallpaper and this flooring. So I'm looking forward to doing that and we'll fill it with all of the plants we can find. All right, we're going to go ahead and get changed because where did I put my cute little dress? There it is. The box skirt uniform. And then I could have sworn I had some other... Uh, we have holy tights now, which are really cute, but not for this. Oh, and then yesterday I went over to Chips' Island because he also had Mabel, and I got this, guys! Isn't this bubblegum so cute? It's a little bubblegum, um, like, bubble that you're, you can be constantly blowing, and that was what Mabel was selling. Also, I got this bowler hat with ribbon from Mabel over on our home island. Uh, and this knit hat was actually a gift from Pierce in the middle of the night last night. He just ran up to me and said he had a gift for me. And it was a knit hat. And I love the idea that Pierce was worried that we were getting cold. Uh, so very cute. Oh, no, no, no. I wanted to change outfits. I did. I mean, I was just kind of wearing this little apron sleeve thing for a minute because I thought it was cute. Oh, jeez, that's adorable. All right. So moss ball discovery shared with you guys. What do I need to put? A cute yellow wall. I think, oh, that's a really cute yellow wall. Yeah, I think I was temporarily putting that. All right, let's see, what else did I get? Okay, we'll put the coffee cup away for now. Um, leaf umbrella, I can go back outside. Bowler hat with ribbon, storage. House slippers, very cute house slippers I picked up from Mabel on Home Island last night. Very cute that she's visiting again already. Let's put the house slippers away. One day those can maybe go like in my bedroom. Holy tights go away. Bubble gum, so freaking cute. That goes away. And by the way, guys, check this out. We have 99,000 bells because I took all of the apples that I had harvested from this island to Chips and I's home island last night where the native fruit is pears. And I sold them to Tommy and Timmy. And we ended up with just a ton of money from the apples I collected on the island while looking for a wharf roach. So it was a busy day yesterday. Yeah. All right. Well, before we get going on searching through the mail, appreciating this very overcast day, and trying to tidy things up, let's go ahead and harvest from the bell tree. And we have 1,000 bells here. This is not the tree I planted 10,000 bells in the, the hole in. So we'll have to see if we have any luck with that. But before we run into... Oh, hi, Ursula. Oh, I don't really have a gift to give Ursula just yet. I need to find something to give her before we talk to her. But before we run into Daisy May, who I want to probably give all of our bills to, let's go ahead and talk to Mabel. Oh, hey, Siri. You came just at the right time. There's something I'd like to ask you today. Could I bend your ear for a bit? Sure. 
Oh, thank you. You see, I wanted to ask you about a location. <gasps> For the store we're thinking of opening? Yes! I knew buying all of those kimonos from her yesterday was a good move. Mabel actually wants to come and move in on our island now. I wonder if it's because we spent so much money with her. It's probably because we spent so much money with her. Oh yeah, look! Thanks to you, we've gained lots of customers on this island who can't wait for me to come here peddling. So, I've been talking with my sister about opening a proper store right here on this island. So today I came to chat with Tom Nook and we had a great conversation. Oh, he must be so excited. A new clothing store on top of resident services? This is great! He was all like, we have some materials left over from building Nook's cranny, hmm? All that must be done then is, the is to select the appropriate location, yes? Oh, and the perfect individual to help you find that location would be Siri. Yes, hmm, yes. <laughs> I love how she's mimicking Tom Nook. That's so cute. So I figured I'd just keep doing the traveling peddler thing until I ran into you again. And that's now. Oh, geez. I've just been rambling on, haven't I? Sorry, I'm pretty excited about all this. Anyway, my sister and I would feel better opening this shop with the help of someone Tom Nook trusts. So how about it, Siri? Could you be our location scout? <gasps> yes! Come on, Mabel! Seriously? No pun intended. Oh, you're a total lifesaver. Alright then, let me give you this Taylor's construction kit. We're gonna have them move in! We're gonna have regular clothes to pick from! Just set it up where, uh, in whatever spot makes sense to you, and that'll be where we have our shop built. Yay! Ursula, did you hear that? We're about to have a clothing store open! Sometimes I can't tell if it's a great, if a great day feels peaceful or ominous. Okay, that's really adorable, but also now it's somewhat ominous, right? All right, let's see what Mabel has for sale. All right, what's on sale today? So, oh, look at this cute little work apron. Oh my gosh, that's so precious. I love it. Okay, I have to have that cute little work apron because that's just way too cute. I wonder how many things she'll sell once she opens up her own shop. All right. This work apron, absolutely adorable. We'll have to wear it when we are building things. The embroidered pattern skirt is really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy that. There we go. Thank you very much, Mabel. And then sometimes I buy things even if I plan on giving them away or selling them because, and the, the item will always be available in the Nook Stop after we own it. But if you haven't owned it yet, then you just won't have any luck getting it again. Uh, okay, the shirt dress is kind of ridiculously cute. I sort of want to give it to Ursula. And then I do like the workout top and I kind of like the basketball shoes. They're cute. All right, we'll get all of those. There we go. And actually, the sweatpants are kind of cute, too. So I could have a little workout outfit. Why not? <laughs> oh my goodness. This is, this is like three quarters sweatpants for a workout outfit. Sure. We're just gonna buy all of it. To show my excitement over Mabel being here. Then we'll have to sell some things so we have at least 100,000 bells to invest in the turnip stock market. Which is a huge goal of the day. I think I will give Ursula the shirt dress. I mean, I could see her preferring something like a lot cuter, but at the same time, yeah, it's not really Ursula's thing. All right, we'll go ahead and buy these basketball shoes. The shirt dress is actually really cute for just like wearing on a rainy day inside reading. All right, that'll be it. Thank you, Mabel. All right, gotta find, and I saw Puddles walking around just a second ago. Oh, so exciting. All right, and we have some stuff in the mail. Maybe I can give Ursula some of this. Oh, geez. Okay, we have a cypress plant. We have a telescope. Oh, that's right, we have a cute little rain hat. We have chino pants. Um, there we go. We have water shoes. I could probably give, let's look at Ursula the tennis shoes, I think. Uh, yay, and we scored rank B. This time your home scored 10,000 points or more, so we're sending along a commemorative gift. Hope you like it from Happy Home Academy. Oh, Happy Home Academy. I wonder if they rate like every Sunday. All right, so we actually have a lot of stuff all of a sudden. The cypress plant that we saw at the Nook Stop last night, the telescope from the Nook Stop, the rain hat, chino pants, the water shoes. Gosh, we have a lot of stuff. I don't need that much clothes. The HHA pendant? Okay, that might go on the wall. That'll be interesting. All right, let's go ahead and give 
Oh, those chino pants are actually kind of cute. Oh, I love the embroidered skirt! Three-quarter sweatpants. Here's the shirt dress. Oh, that's cute! Here's the work apron. Oh, that's also really cute! <laughs> We're doomed! We're doomed by clothes! I can't believe it. Alright, I you know what? I will try giving the shirt dress to Ursula. And we'll give her a new dress in the future. Oh, Puddles, hey! Good morning, Smush! Sometimes when I can't wake up in the morning, I run in circles and scream really loud for a few minutes. Okay, that's precious, Puddles. Alright, Ursula... Or what about the rain hat? Because she seemed a little worried about the day. But the rain hat is finally the yellow rain hat that we were... Oh, that's cute. The crown? Let's give her the hyacinth crown! I can always make another one. How many times am I going to bump into you today? Hang on, am I being pranked? Is there a hidden camera? Nope, nope, nope. I'm just going to go ahead and give her... Let's give her the hyacinth crown. Because maybe that'll make her feel better about a gloomy day. Whoa, 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 a hyacinth crown? Hang on a sec, I want to see how it looks. <gasps> Is she going to wear it? <gasps> so cute! Ah, huh, commemorative sip of tea? I've been wanting one like this for a while. Thanks, Siri. <laughs> okay, this isn't the best way to say thanks, but it's not the worst way either. I've got 832 bells here for you. This is kind of one of those, it's the thought that counts situations, group. <laughs> commemorative sip of tea? Counts bells, that is. All right, that's not bad, that's not bad. And now she's wearing a ridiculously cute little hyacinth crown, and we can always make ourselves another one. Let's see, let's put this away. And I can just pick a flower really quickly to put in my hair. <laughs> All right, so that is a pretty good haul of clothes, um, which is not how I thought we'd spend our morning, but you know what, I'm not going to question it. I think I'll just go ahead and put everything away. I actually would love to get the other flower crowns because I think the hyacinth crown is cute but it almost looks like it's meant for like super special occasions as like the kind of crown you would give somebody for winning some sort of special event you know what I mean all right let's put that away and let's go ahead and you know what I want to put the work apron into I want the work apron to be like some sort of special let's put the three-quarter sweatpants away Mm, basketball shoes. We'll put those away for now, too. The shirt dress. Ah, man. I wish we... I think Sky would be good wearing those. Okay, let's go ahead and place this. Yay! We really need to get a little greenhouse room up and going. That is awesome. Slowly but surely gaining all of the plants possible in Animal Crossing. I love it. I need to leave my slingshots down outside. The HHA pendant. Let's put this away for a second and see what happens if I put this up on the wall. Oh, whoa! That's really cute, actually! I think that would be really good to have if we had uh, this room set up properly to be like our little classroom education area. Because we could say it's just like for the classroom education stuff. Let's put the telescope away for now, but we'll definitely put it outside later. Zen cushion away for now. There we go. And the work apron. Freaking cute work apron. I want to go ahead and wear it for now. There we go. Because we are about to set up and prepare. Dun dun dun! The Taylor's Workshop! Which means that the Able Sisters are going to move in, which is so exciting! Holy cow! Okay. I mean, I know I say everything is- Oh, look how much happier Ursula looks wearing her little flower crown. I think that that will help her realize that today can be a nice day. Oh, and a little bumblebee. Hello, my dear! You can go ahead and help Tommy and Timmy get more of these wonderful oranges all through the island. And we're going to go and work on our stock market now, actually. So I'm going to want a cute picture with Daisy May. And if I'm going to want a cute picture with Daisy May, I think I'm going to go ahead and pick this white hyacinth. And wear the white hyacinth for the stock market day. Oh, perfect. Like, I, I appreciate... Oh, no! We lost a peach? That won't do. I think I need to move this panda so that we don't lose a peach again in the future. Hmm. Oh, she looks much happier. See, it's important to be good to your friends. 
And let me go ahead and leave down one of the slingshots over here for emergency sky gift appropriation. Oh, and I forgot to, I feel so bad, but I forgot to mail all of these gifts last night from our little picnic area that we're building. Uh, so I definitely need to give them to the villagers who will take them. I think Cranston might take them from us. Puddles will not- <gasps> There's Daisy May! Okay, you guys! Oh, oh, ah, oh, man, I scared away a really rare, mm -hmm, really rare bug. That's okay. Daisy May, hi! Can I please take a picture with you? Here, no, 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 hold still. That was a really good spot. You're so cute, even with your little nose all, all what it is. Come over here, Daisy May. Oh, look at how many new flowers we have from the rain yesterday. <gasps> we might have some hybrids. Woo! And this is a good spot to go ahead and plant- Oh, 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 Puddles! Yes, Puddles? Hey, Siri! I'm going around Wildberry saying hi to everyone! I have to get my brand out there, you know? Lots of people want to <laughs> know- Let the people know a future pop star walks among them. Hold up, I just remembered! I thought maybe you'd like this, so here you go! Oh, Puddles is already giving us gifts! The heck? The portable record player is something I bought for my last island. It seems like your kind of thing, so actually, now it is your thing! I'm like so happy I got someone like you around to do stuff for me, Splish. Oh, thank you, I think, Puddles. She, I think she comes across as a little odd sometimes, but she's actually really friendly. Oh, that's adorable. That is so her aesthetic, as they say. All right, Daisy May. Oh, there she is. Good, 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 good. Okay, so this is Daisy May. She is the granddaughter of the old turnip seller, who you guys may remember. Uh, no pun intended, because her name is Daisy May. And from her... Hello, Daisy May! Do you know my grand grand Joan? She seems to know an awful lot of folks, so I always ask. Anyway, she said I'm old enough now to help out with the family business, so here I am. Oh, I forgot to tell you what the family business is. It's selling turnips. Have you heard of So Joan's Stock Market? Well, I'll be here every Sunday morning with a fresh crop of turnips, so come say hi anytime. Ah, oh, fooey Daisy May, you forgot the sales pitch. Graham Gam told me enough times, I ought to remember how it goes by now. So, do you want to hear about how So Joan's Stock Market works? <laughs> yes, please. She's doing such a good job. Um, okay, you can do this. So, turnips are a cute little root vegetable that are good for pickling or stewing. Heck, Graham Graham always says the stock market turnips are for sale and not eaten. I always forget. Anyway, if you time things right, they can be a mighty nutritious for your bank account. Should I keep going with the explanation? Let's hear it. Okay, now let's see then. Oh yeah, the whole point of buying our turnips is so that you can turn around and sell them at a profit. Graham Graham always says something about them turning up a profit. I don't exactly get it. Anyway, you know Timmy, right? He's always in the market for buying when it comes to time for you to be selling. Should I keep going? Let's hear it. Okay, this is the real important part, so I'm going to try my best to explain carefully. Oh, she's precious! I love her! You don't want to buy these turnips and keep them for too long. They'll rot after one week. So if you buy some from me on a Sunday, you got to remember to sell them before the next Sunday. Graham Graham always says there's nothing worse than a tent full of rotten turnips, but it ain't true. Losing all those hardened bells you spent on them is worse. Okay, that's the whole speech. So right now turnips are going for 98 bells. Do you want to buy some? Yes! Okay, so we will go ahead and buy some. Okie dokie, maybe next time in just a second. But I basically wanted to explain this to you guys in case it wasn't clear. Um, hold still, Daisy Mae. Okay, hold still. Just... Daisy Mae, why? <laughs> Look, I'm trying to get a nice picture of us together. Daisy May, Daisy May, hold still. Ah, okay. So basically, what happens? Hold still. I have to get a good picture, Daisy May, because we've got we've got to let everybody know that you're here. Oh, she's so cute, and she's so restless. Like, every time I think I have got her cornered so that we can take a cute screenshot together, it is not the case. But these turnips you buy for, like, in this case, 98 bells, 
and then they might be available to sell for higher values during the rest of the week. So you go to Timmy and Tommy and they might say, oh, I'm taking turnips for 105 bells. So you get the difference. And sometimes Timmy and Tommy will say, oh, I'm taking turnips for 700 bells. And she just sneezed. That was the cutest thing ever. And so if the turnips sold for 700 bells, we bought them for 100, you get 600 bells per turnip as profit. So people can become literal billionaires with the bells by buying turnips. So today, I think we're going to go all in. We're going to take all of the money that we have got and we are going to buy $100,000, 100,000 bells worth of turnips if I can. And then we're gonna hoard them, save them, and see if we can sell them for a profit either on my island or one of my friend's islands or Chips and I's home island since we have so many options at some point during this week. So we're gonna try to pay off some of our wild berry debts by playing. Dun, 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 dun. Are you guys ready for this? Dun, 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 in the stock market you know spelled s t a l k all right let's go ahead and all right daisy may i'm ready that's a good price on turnips i'm gonna buy some they're 90 they're sold in bundles of 10 there's 98 of them what's the max that i can buy right now that's 1130 turnips <laughs> i want to buy that many yeah that sounds great Now, they're sold in bundles of 10, but how does she- oh my gosh. Turnips, turnips, watch them rise! Trying to earn a nice surprise! That's adorable. <gasps> Where are the, the excess turnips? Like, what- oh, these are in hundreds! Oh my gosh! Because that's all I could fit in my inventory! You guys, let's do it! We're gonna go all in on the stock market, and then I'm gonna need your guys' reminders. Miles for stockholders. I have Nook Miles to give any resident who purchases turnips. Buy them low, sell them high, and make a handsome profit. They'll rot in a week, though, so be careful. Alright. Weakened stockholder. Alright, we're gonna have to really, like, I'm gonna need your guys' reminders, like, on all the social media so that we remember to do something with these turnips. I don't think I'll forget because I'm gonna like bug all of my friends every day to see what their turnip stock prices are But I have seen them go for as much as 600. I I think I would sell Because if you wait to sell and then they like aren't going to sell for anything You'll be really sad. This is now going to officially be a turnip storage room so we're gonna go ahead and Let's clear all things away this is now a turnip storage room, so drop, because you can't put them in your storage. There we go. And we're going to need to go to Daisy May and, and buy more of them in just a bit. We're just going to fill this room with turnips. I, I, I hope this is a good idea. We might have just wasted like a hundred thousand dollars if they rot especially But if they don't sell for a high profit that could also be a bit of a waste. Let's put that in storage All right, this is very exciting you guys We're, we're part of the turnip market now. I'm feeling the thrill Every day on wildberry brings us new opportunities All right, and being part of the stock market is a big responsibility so we do want to be careful. All right, let's go ahead and gather these cherries. A lot of our non-native fruits are doing well today. So we can sell these to Tommy and Timmy. They don't do any stock market purchases on Sundays. So we can't see like what their stock prices might be. But they do buy turnips tomorrow. So we'll just keep an eye out. Every single day we'll check. And every single day I will also check on Chips' Island. Hey, Puddles! Oh, she's so cute with her little purse. <gasps> Cranston! Oh, look, we have new blossoms! Yes, Cranston! Thank you! And he's using his golden watering can! Yes, you guys! We really can change the color of the tools that they even use. Isn't that wonderful? 
And Ursula looks so much happier wearing her little flower headband. Cranston, how are you today? I'm gonna go real hard today. Gonna play hard, snack hard, yell sweatband hard. Oh, that's precious. My dad used to say that all the time. He's like, play hard, study hard. Uh, oh, I scared it away. Work hard. Uh, let's see. What can I do for you? Dang it, I can't give him the thing yet. Your slip-on loafers are pretty cool. Well, sh with shoes like those, you can probably jump over things or run really fast, huh? But you can never run away from your troubles, sweatband. Oh! Okay, Cranston. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was kind of adorable. Yay! Gotcha. Wow, the rain yesterday really promoted so much growth amongst all of our flowers, you guys. There's new buds everywhere. It's going to be very exciting to see what some of these turn into. Alright, and then let's come down. Hello, Daisy Mate. You're kind of right on the spot I need to go, but that's okay. Let's see what Pierce is up to. He's been a bit of- oh, she sneezed again! She's so cute! Oof, Pierce, I'm a little nervous. I just spent a ton of money on the stock market, and I hope it turns out well. Hey yo, welcome to my top secret hideout, Hawkeye. It's also your house. How much fruit did you pick yesterday? Are you gonna eat it up now or make a mega smoothie? Okay, that's hilarious. Alright, let's go ahead and I forgot to give him- speaking of smoothies, I forgot to send him the coconut juice, so we'll give it to him manually. Some coconut juice, seriously? Yeah, no pun intended. You crushed it. I absolutely love this sort of stuff. I can't wait to show this off. I was also looking for an excuse to move my stuff around, so this is really perfect, Hawkeye. Time to flex my gratitude muscles. I want you to have some farmer overalls. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like my villagers are, are like, oh, she's just, she's, she's working. Oh, those are cute. They're perfect for being a turnip stock market seller. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's adorable. I I didn't know I needed this in my life, but I totally did. All right. We're also making other investments. Do I have 10,000 bells left? I do not have 10,000 bells. Uh, so we'll come back in when we have 10,000 extra bells to plant that spot. Let's see. Cranston, oh, he's hanging out with a stink bug. He really does love bugs. It's very cute. All right, any of my other non-native fruits? Oh, my coconuts! The coconuts are ready to harvest. And if I spend time making these coconuts into coconut juice, they double in value from 250 to 500. Uh, sky, oh, my peaches! All right, y'all, welcome to series Wild Berry Island. Today, we have the peach harvest. Tons and tons of peaches ready to go. This is actually turning into quite the farming day. Which is ridiculously adorable. Alright. Zoomed in. There we go. This is turning into a cute little farming day. <laughs> the peaches are ready to harvest. One of my absolute favorite fruits. We'll go ahead and sell them to Tommy and Timmy. And then we'll turn the profit over to the stock market. Hopefully this isn't a bad decision. But even if the turnips end up rotting. Because I have, just remind me every day guys. <laughs> just be like Siri. Siri the stock market. We'll have to check on the prices. It'll be really exciting. And tomorrow, Resident Services actually finishes expanding. Oh, every day on Wildberry, I think like, oh man, what'll we do next? And we're just so busy. We haven't even started building all of the little specialized areas around the island I want to yet. Oh, the pear harvest is really coming in. Okay, so funny story. I found an island where it was literally just a pear orchard. I dug up almost all of the trees and just brought the trees back. <laughs> and this, this is the beautiful, glorious benefit that we have from doing that. I think I wanna, well, one of the things we'll do in the near future is come through here and do our best to kind of organize this little orchard better so we can actually see between all of the trees so that we know what we're grabbing. There we go. That's so funny that Pierce gave me farmer's overalls on a day when we had a huge harvest like this to tend to. <gasps> and we still need to put down the tailor's area. Oh my gosh. A busy, busy farming day. Farm in the stock market. Gathering all our plants. 
And I do want to kind of transform this whole side of the island, the northwest side, into basically a gigantic orchard where we're going to spread out all sorts of non-native plants, maybe just pick our favorite like peaches or pears and have them packed in pretty tightly so that we can oh, make a good profit. Okay, use caution and yes! Orchid mantis! Yay! And holy cow, our plants are just spreading so well. Probably because we ended up doing, uh, or we had such great rain yesterday. And speaking of the rain, no, 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 come back here. There's something in the water. All right, come here, you big old fish. Oh, for crying out loud. This is a big fish. I wonder what he is. Oh. Oh, here we go. I actually caught him! Oh, it's a bass! Okay, that looks so, like, typical Midwest right there. Caught a bass, wearing some overalls. Doing pretty well. Alright, so we have 30 pears. We've, we'll get 20 peaches, because I saw the other peach tree is ready to go. The apples we'll worry about later. And we'll gather up the oranges, and even though I want to make more orange trees, because they are absolutely my favorite fruit. Uh, I know I said I love peaches, but I eat an orange every single day. And my favorite peaches are actually very specific. They are the peaches that I get from the mountains of Appalachia when they're ready to harvest. So those are really... You guys, I hear it. Aha! I heard it! I knew I heard it! But yeah, my favorite peaches aren't just like any peach from the store. They're peaches specifically from the mountain, the Appalachian Mountains in North Carolina during a very specific part of spring and summer. So probably better to say the oranges, which I do eat every day no matter what. Cream and sugar! Didn't we just get this yesterday? Oh, but it's a different kind! Oh, that's adorable. I think we should put it down on... I, we should go ahead and we should add it to our, our little section over here. Place item. And we'll deal with this in a little bit. All right, let's go sell everything. Buy from the stock market. We have, we still have to turn our, I love that he has his gold watering can. Yes. We still have to turn in our coelacanth and any fossils I've been collecting to blathers. I think I have a few in storage. Hello, you two. How are you guys doing today? What the heck is this, boys? It says, is it? I mean, it's a cardboard box, but it looks like a butt. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> That's really cute. Why is that so cute? Okay, fine, I'll buy it. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but it's also cute. And they have some little pennants right over there. It looks like we've got a little teacup over here. A cattle, eh? You know what? I, I will buy that when I have more money. I shouldn't have bought the, the peach butt box, but I couldn't help myself. All right, we're gonna go ahead and sell. I'm a little farmer Siri today. Yes, I know you won't take turnips today, but we're gonna sell everything else. There we go. Not my leaf umbrella. Uh, not the coconut juice, because I'm gonna give that away. Um, not my work apron, because I like the work apron more than the farmer overalls, actually. Uh, all right, that should do. All right, what do you think, guys? 37,000 bells sold! I'm gonna go invest it all in the stock market because that's totally a good idea. Oh, okay. Now I'm just gonna bug my friends every day starting tomorrow. How much are your turnips selling for? I think they change price twice a day too. They're one price in the morning and they're another price in the evening. So you really have to watch out. And Daisy Mae, oh, there's Daisy Mae. Hi, Daisy Mae. Okay, I'm gonna buy some. I would like to buy the max amount. There we go. We're getting another 380. I think this is a really good price on the, the turnips too. All right, there you go. So we're up to like 140 odd, no, 1,140 odd, no, maybe even more than that, stocks for the stock market. That's kind of amazing. 
kind of terrifying and kind of amazing. All right, get over here, future turnip. All right, there we go. But all right, guys, now that we have managed to get our toes into the stock market, I'm going to go ahead and, oh, oh I scared away one of the rare ones again. I need to pay more attention. I'm gonna go ahead and put them away. We're gonna grab whatever fossils we have inside of the house. And we're gonna turn in our coelacanth and our fossils to blathers. And then let's go visit Skye just to say hi to her. Cause it's been quite a busy day. We have a lot of other things I wanna do. And I think I have a few DIY projects that I learned from the islands last night. Let me check. Anything new to share with you guys. We know how to do pan flute now, which we definitely need to make. Today has been a day about the stock market though. I know how to make tire stacks now, which is interesting. Um, we know how, oh, we haven't made this garden rock yet. I would love to make that garden rock. Maybe we'll do some gardening tomorrow. And I also learned how to make the bamboo grove wall. So we'll actually make a really nice bamboo room at some point in the future. And the, fun fact, the young spring bamboo is actually a special, a special seasonal kind of build. You can only get the young spring bamboo in early spring. So we're gonna put some effort into trying to make those for sure. And I'm gonna need to start really putting some focus into trying to harvest from our bamboo forest every day to get as much young spring bamboo as possible. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna switch from stock market to work apron. We've got to put down our tailor kit. Uh, well, we'll do box skirt uniform for a second because we're actually going to turn in some stuff to blathers. And this cardboard box, I swear. <laughs> we'll just put that in storage, but I kind of want to give it to Puddles because it seems like something that would fit in her beautiful pink little house. Oh, I found a pet bed and another writing desk on some of the islands last night too. Oh, we have so many cute things. Oh my gosh. Oh, a nail art set that fell from the sky. That, that I should definitely give to Puddles, because that seems like something that she would love. All right. I have way too much stuff. There we go. Fossil, 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 fossil. And let's take these fossils and the coelacanth to Blathers. Then we'll go ahead and wrap up the day by finding a place for Mabel to move in. Mabel and her sister. Holy cow, there's so much to do every day. We'll have to figure out what our project for tomorrow will be. Probably celebrating resident services being installed. All right, so I know that there's one fossil I kept ignoring right over here. We'll go ahead and gather it really quickly with my green shovel. Yay! And we'll just cover this right up. Oh, look at Mabel, she's organizing her stuff. Oh, that's so cute. And Cranston is still taking good care of these plants. Wow, why am I so sleepy today? I wonder if it's because it's spring? It might be because I was up late, talking to the bugs that live in the floor about a cookbook I saw. <laughs> oh, he loves bugs so much. That just cracks me up. Alright, onwards. Let's go ahead and say hello to Bladas. And then we'll go see what Sky is up to. Maybe she's feeling pretty shy because she has not come out of the house yet today. Blathers, how you doing? Ho oh, oh. ho! Oh dear, pardon me. Good morning, Siri. Welcome to the Wild Berry Museum. All right, Blathers, we're gonna assess some fossils, his favorite. And we'll assess these ones. Five nice fossils to turn in. There you go. Yay, all right, we do have something that hasn't been part of our collection just yet. The cultural development of Wildberry is a worthy endeavor indeed. That's my favorite thing that he says every time. Let's go ahead and make a donation. And, oh, we have a lot of duplicates again. But we have a Megacerotel and a Olfantios tor uh, Taurus, but the a Sabertooth Skull and Patchy Skull. Oh my gosh, we end up with so many like duplicate skulls. I don't even know what to do with them. All right, we'll go ahead and give those to him, and then let's make a donation of the coelacanth, but see what he has to say about this ancient and wonderful creature. Hooty-hoo, this must be a coelacanth. 
Now, might I interest you in a few interesting facts? Of course, of course. The coelacanth is a deep sea fish that has been around since the age of the dinosaurs. They were long thought extinct, so when living specimens were discovered, it was quite a shock. Now I'll just have to figure out where in the museum to display it. Fish or fossils. And there you have it. Oh, that's really cool. Alright, so we'll go ahead and check out what the coelacanth is up to in the future. I wonder if Sky is actually in her house. Rest well, Blathers. Thank you. Or if she is in the museum. Because yesterday I couldn't find Ursula anywhere, and I found her hanging out in the museum. Apparently she loves fish. Alright, let's see how Sky is doing. <gasps> yes, yeah, she's building something! Oh my gosh, her house is so cute! Sorry, I was really focused on this. What are you doing? I'm currently crafting a grass skirt just to see how I do at it. DIY is a great way to learn by doing. I'm totally obsessed with it. Siri, want to learn how to make your own grass skirt? Yes, I do! Alright, I wrote down all the details right here. It should be easy for you. She's so soft-spoken. Give it a try when you have the time and materials, Airmill. Grass skirt, you guys! Grass skirt! My grandmother was a literal professional hula dancer from Hawaii. Like, she grew up in Hawaii and was a professional hula dancer. So this is ridiculously exciting. All right, where is it? Where is it? <gasps> Yay! Favorite. That's so exciting. We're going to have to make a beach outfit now. I, I, I might need to, like, make myself a coconut top. That would be really adorable. I wish I could wear island togetherness. Uh, one of the goals of Nook Inc. is resident togetherness. Our gregarious greetings initiative aims to reward you with Nook Miles just for chatting with the residents. Yay! All right. Unabashedly shy kid. I'm actually super shy in real life, so that tickles me. All right. And how are you doing, Sky? Doing well? Have you read your evaluation from the Happy Home Academy yet, Siri? I haven't worked up the courage yet myself, Airmill. Oh, she's so precious and shy. I can't wait to give her more gifts. We need to give her some things to really, like, add in some, some soft, fun color to her home. All right, but grass skirt, that's amazing. Now, let's go ahead and put on our work apron. Ta-da! And we're going to figure out where the heck to put the Taylor's construction kit. Because we've got quite a bit of space on the island still. And I think for Mabel and Abel... I actually... Oh, Ursula's in her house now. Is she building something? Ursula, are you building something? I might need it on that if you are. Ah, oh, she's not. But she's listening to some really cute music. I heard you were planting a whole bunch of stuff yesterday. Nice! Anything we can do to make Wild Bear more beautiful is cool in my book, Garoomph. That's so cool that they pay attention to what you do. Also, look, she's displaying the coconut juice I gave her. <laughs> oh, I love this. And she has her, she replaced the sweater we gave her with the cute little watering can, which we know now the villagers will use the watering can, like, customizations you give them. So I'm thinking I want to put the Able Sisters, like, down here. We might need to move a few things, because I think some of these are, like, precious, precious trees that have special fruit in them. Do any of you guys happen to have... No, nothing there. Nothing there. So I'm thinking maybe put the Able Sisters, like, right here. What would that look like if we did that? Oh, they need just a tiny little space. Let's imagine what it would look like if we put them here. That's so cute! I love the idea of putting it down by the beach. I think I want to move it even closer to the beach spot. So that means we're going to need to move a few of the plants. Alright, this is a good way to wrap up the day if you ask me. We turned into coelacanth. We have many adorable pieces of clothing. We'll go ahead and eat these. We learned, of all things, the recipe for the grass skirt, which is so fitting for me because, like I said, my family does have a lot of Hawaiian heritage, and my grandmother was a professional hula dancer. And she actually was a professional hula dancer during World War II, and she traveled with her troop to raise troop morale. Let's see. 
Alright, what's this little guy? Is this like a money tree or something? Oh, it's a little apple tree! Well, don't worry, little friend. We'll get you out of the way. And then we'll move this apple tree, too, just to make sure we don't lose anybody. Alright. Tuck that out of the way. You guys, I hear it. I hear it! Coming from this side. I knew it! I knew it! Go, 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 go! Get from the sky! On a green balloon, no less! This can only bode good things! And it actually seems like it's commemorating the spot that we're putting the Able Sisters tailor shop down on. <laughs> Alright, what's the gift from the sky today? Pleather flare skirt. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I don't think that's my, my, my type. Um, but you know what? I appreciate the thought. I appreciate the thought. Alright, and we'll go ahead and move these flowers too so that we don't lose our precious wind flowers. Oh, there was a praying mantis. That's fine. And we can replant these wind flowers around the Able Sister shop. Though I think planting blue flowers would be nice to do. I could see pansies doing really well around their shop. Alright, come along, wind flowers. These guys took forever to be able to bloom, so I don't want to just destroy them now. We need to make those designated flower garden sections. Alright, there we go. Actually, can you put the shop on the beach? Oh, no, no, no. He, I think I think you could almost do it, but not quite. Okay. And then what if I scooched just a little this way? Okay. And then you need to move forward just a tiny bit. Let me imagine what this would look like. I probably didn't need to move the flowers, but I wanted to be cautious. Okay, that's really cute. Let's do it. And eventually, I think we can move the buildings if we need to. Alright, you guys! And now we have the tailor shop down. So we have now invested in the stock market, which is definitely very exciting. We have the tailor shop down right next to where Tommy and Timmy's little crannery is. We've got a whole bunch, like a little neighborhood that we're starting over here, a little beachside neighborhood with a few spaces that we could probably sneak more, more people into if we really needed to. And we have learned how to make a grass skirt on top of getting all of the cute clothes for today. Oh my gosh, this is very exciting. I'm going to go ahead and spend some of today trying to gather as many more stocks as I can from adorable Daisy Mae before she leaves, filling it up in our, our stock room, and then we will try to make an absolute killing in the market so that we will be able to see Wildberry nurtured for whatever, whatever, you know, um, financial needs it might have. And we totally won't have to worry about messing up and, you know, just watching everything rot in the stock market. That, that, that only happens in the movies, right? <laughs> but alright guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for the adorable Daisy May and her first official visit here, and for Cranston, our precious, precious Cranston, who is frolicking with all of the bugs in our little hyacinth garden here. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye Oh my gosh, hang on! Cranston, what's wrong? He just called out to me and he ran up and said, Siri, do you ever just feel like crying? Cranston, you were just frolicking with your bug friends, what's wrong? Sure you do. Everybody feels sad sometimes. When you feel like you need to cry, don't hold back. Use your actions just like this. Oh, Cranston, no! Oh my gosh! If you need to turn on the waterworks, and who doesn't sometimes, use sorrow and let it all out. Cranston! Oh my gosh! Well, at least we've learned the sorrow reaction. I weep for tomorrow. Oh no. <laughs>